Today we're going to explore a Xenotech feature on how to create your own fonts. Why would you want to create your own font? Well, you may want to modify an existing Xenotech or Windows font. For example, let's look at the Helvetica three-line font. Maybe you don't like the, the dot in the I or on the J and you want to make them smaller. You can easily do this with Xenotech's font making mode. Also, you may want to take a Windows font and automatically place a fill in it. Again, you would use the font making mode to do this. I also like to use the font making mode because the I can create an INI file out of the Windows font that I make into a Xenotech font. Thus, I can control the kerning of that font. Also, you may want to create your own font of letters or images. For example, for competitive reasons, it might be worth your while to create your own font so that nobody can copy what you do. Also, if you're using a lot of a lot of uh, images, logos, and existing jobs, such as our utility font, you may want to make them into one big font and use A, B, and C to use to bring those logos in, as opposed to always having to click on the L and bring a logo in. Let's get started. Our first example will be to modify an existing Xenotech font. First, create a job that's one by one, has a multiple plate size of two by two, and has a Y offset amount of 1. Press Enter, press F11, and you'll notice that we have a 1 inch box inside a 2 by 2 multiple. Next, go to Text, Font Making Mode, turn Font Making Mode on, click OK, and we have an A appear in our box. You'll also notice that a new box has appeared in the toolbar. This is called the character designator. You notice that right now there's a number 65 in there. The 65 corresponds to the capital letter A. 66 would be a capital letter B. 67 would be capital C and so forth. Now to get to the capital letter E we could just press the page up key or the page down key to take us to the appropriate box. However, we know that the character designator number for the capital E is 69. So we can go to Edit, go to Character Designator, 69. Press Enter, and we're at the E. You will notice now that our E fills up our whole box. We want to make the E wider. The easiest way to do this is to press the F7 key, go to our box width, let's make it 0.6, press Enter, select our letter E, go to Line Width, Make it 0.6, press enter, and it fills up the whole box. Now that we've expanded the E out, all we need to do now is save the job and then export it out as a Xenotech font file. However, before we go on and do this, we need to go miscellaneous and make sure your job comments is on. Go file, save, and a job comments dialog box comes up. Let's type in gothic. E. The text that appears in the job comments dialog box will be the text that you see when you actually install the font in the font menu. Click OK. And let's call it Gothic E. The file is saved. Now that we've saved the font, all we need to do now is export the font out. Let's go to File. export. Make sure that we're saving it into the Xenotech font directory and also make sure that your save file type is Xenotech font. Let's type in a name. Let's call it gothic underscore E and click save. And it takes a couple of seconds and the font has been exported to do is just to make sure that the font works. Let's enter a 2 by 8 inch plate. Press enter. Now we need to install the font that we created. Install resident font. Let's go find the gothic. There it is, gothic underscore E. Click open. You'll notice now if we go to font, there's the text that we entered in the job comments field. Next, press enter. Let's type some text in. Let's type in uh, 
test so we can see the E T E S T. Press F8. Let's select the text. Let's make the text 0.5. Okay, now we got a problem. You'll notice that the test, there's no space between the characters. We will need to fix that. One thing that's created automatically that you don't see when you export the, the, the text as a font file is an actual INI file. What is an INI file? Well, an INI file actually controls the spacing and also the kerning of, our fo of a font. In this case, we did create an INI file. However, the INI file is basically bare. So we need to populate the file so that we have the proper spacing and we have the proper kerning for our new font that we created. To do this, all we need to do is go to Xenotech, go to Notepad, go File, Open. Make sure we're in the X Files font directory, which we are. Go down to Files of Type, click on All Files. Go over. Because we modified the Gothic font, we're just going to use the Gothic INI file. So open that one up. You notice here we've got values for all the kerning characters, and we've got a side space of 300. All we need to do is go File, Save As, go Files, All Files, and select the new font that we created, which in this case is the Gothic underscore E. Click Save, click Yes to replace it, and we can close that down. Because we've changed the INI file, we need to actually shut the software down and restart up. Press F7. Let's do a 2x8 again. Press Enter. Type in Test. Press F8. Select it. Make it 0.5. F5 to duplicate. F8. Let's make the top one our new font. Let's install our new font. Open. And let's make it the Gothic. To see our, the difference in the two fonts, let's just zoom in on the two E's. And you'll notice that the E in the top line is a little bit wider than the E in the bottom line. The top line is our new font. The bottom line is our old font. And we're done.